Hey there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can extract links from web page. For this example, we are going to make sure that the links that are scrapped are shown in a text box. Also, you get to choose which website to scrape from. Let's select Windows Forms application while creating a new project. You can give it any name of your choice. Click on OK button. Now extend this form window. Now let's drop this box on screen and create a particular height. Also drop web browser component. Okay, so make sure there is some spacing in between. Now I'm going to get the URL property as in website. I save this project and execute it, it should show us the Bing website. Okay. So that means it is working properly. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to add a label here and a button. So let's add a button here. Just lift it a bit up and then add the label as well. Change to get links. So I change the label here for label link number. Now save this and now we're going to add action for our button. First thing we are going to do is we are going to create a variable which is another one A is equal to one now to web browser one control. For that, repeat the same. So type and web browser one dot document dot links dot inner HTML and pp c r l okay. now come out coming out of the loop let's type which text this one Dot text is equal to B and label one dot text is equal to web browser dot document. And 
make sure the links text is appended here. So whenever the links are counted, they will be added into the label and along with this links text. So the number, let's say 10, links will be displayed in our form, link number label. In rich text box, number will be taken in our variable. Okay. Now let's, let's save this form. Execute the program. the error was here I have to give the value as b is equal to b not 1 because you cannot assign a previous value and then put the same through or links so let's save this one and execute make sure error doesn't occur Okay, so program is now working and our errors are now removed. So links are scraped from here. As you can see, here are our tags for the links and total 33 links are listed here. So you can turn this sort of program into a scraping application where you scrape for links, you check, let's say, no follow or do follow or other SEO uh, parameters. So this sort of program is really handy. So if you found any more additional features for this program, you can go ahead and try them. I hope you find this explanation useful. If you have any other questions, have any other doubts regarding the current program, do let me know. Thank you for watching.